I love to read. My, my mother, uh, Langazun, she got us comic books, hoping that would get us to read something which is more substantial. Some of us uh, went to things which were more substantial, some of us didn't, but she did get us into reading, and it really opened up a whole, a whole world for me. There are um, public libraries, but you don't always know what you're getting into when you go to public library. I used to take my children to the Beverly Hills Library, which is a beautiful library, and I noticed that my children would want to take out books in this library, and I would say, this book I approve of, this book I don't approve of, and instead of it being this like wonderful time of parents connecting with their children, it becomes a, like, like, a, like a tug of war, a wrestling match. And I, and I felt like it wouldn't be great to have just a space for children that you, you walk into, you know, when everything is here, is pure. The Torah says that a person is called a tree in the field. When the tree is still at the seed stage, the tiniest change affects the whole way that tree will grow and the fruit that will produce from that tree. Similar way, you give a child a, a taste of something that's wholesome and real and true, it, it guides the whole way the child will grow up. So I want a child to come in here and just like take some of the scent of the purity of all these holy books here and bring it home like a mikvah. A mikvah is a, a ritual bath, a place of purity and holiness. So a child comes in from any background, a religious background, not religious background, has no knowledge of Judaism whatsoever, and he says, I'm going to come here because it's a Jewish library and I can learn whatever I want to learn. And I realize this is something that this city really needs. It's something that doesn't exist and it's something that really could help so many people. But I've never really gotten to be able to just read a Jewish story. They don't really have that. I mean, my school, even my school, they have a very small library. They don't have any Jewish books. Really nothing I loved more when I was their age than, uh, you know, just sitting on the floor of a bookstore or library and, uh, you know, spending a few hours enjoying the, the magic of exploring a new world through books. What our library is providing is, is an opportunity for, for, for children and adults to come in and to, to get a great book and, and to take out a great book and, and to learn something that, that, yeah, that invokes Yiddishkeit, you know? When you're reading a book, you can really, you really become connected to the story and through becoming connected to the story, you be, become connected to the author of the story and that creates a unity between souls. It's really special and um, it offers kids and families um, a beautiful outlet, a beautiful, uh, a beautiful hub for kosher Jewish entertainment. So far we have about 2,000 books. So many books here that I'm just so excited to read that I've not even, not even heard of before that seems so interesting and I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, it's not only a great way to learn, but it's a great way for um, for families to bond. It's a great way for parents. You know, parents reading to their children is um, just such a such a wholesome and, and wonderful experience for, for everyone involved. Someone who knows a little bit about uh, libraries walks in here and they're impressed because they can tell how everything is really, really uh, done in a methodical, professional way. Our librarians are aggressively friendly. I see families just t check out a lot of books, like 10 books a piece, and yeah, that's I'm so happy when they take out a lot of books. There's no charge. You can take out 10 books for per child, not per family. We have everything here is cataloged with the Dewey Decimal System. Um, yeah, I've actually already taken out a few books um, that I was actually looking for, and I could not find them. There was once a college professor who was told his students, before you guys graduate, I have to tell you one more thing, and then you guys can graduate. I want you guys to know how to make a cholent. He took a pot and he filled the pot with potatoes and he asked the students, is the pot full? And the students were like, yeah, it's, it's full. He said, no, it's not full. And he added pepper and salt. He said, is it full now? He said, oh, it's full now. He said, no, it's not full. And he fills the whole pot with water. Is it full? You gotta admit, professor, the full pot is full. He says, no, the pot isn't full. And he takes the pot on the fire. He says, until this point, all the different items that were in the pot didn't connect to each other, didn't have any taste, didn't have any real meaning until we add this final ingredient, which is the warmth. There are a lot of things that happen in this neighborhood. There's places to pray, there's places to eat, but there is a need for a little bit of warmth, a little bit of shared space where people can connect to each other and learn and study in their own way. I know in other cities, once a library was created, it didn't just end at a library. The library created a whole revolution of programs for families, for children, and that is where I know this is going. This project 
was only possible because of the kindred spirit that I found in many supporters. Anyone I've mentioned the idea to, real, really, anyone I mentioned the idea to was like, wow, that's great. Where did this been till now? What you see here is only a tip of the iceberg. We're going to convert this entire floor to serve the Jewish Family Library. And we will need to raise more funds and I'd like to appeal to anyone who finds value in this to uh, don't hesitate to be a part of this and bring your children here, bring, your, bring yourselves here. There'll be lots of space to have our cooking classes and our drum circle and, and also quiet spaces for those who just want to just breathe and enjoy and connect. We're open on Sunday mornings from 8.30 to 12.30 and again from 3.30 to 6.30 Monday through Thursday, so we're not open on Friday. And on Shabbos, these kids, are all, every Shabbos we see them running around and they're like, they want to do stuff and they want to move around here. They come in here like, whoosh. it's an oasis. Enjoy the Jewish Family Library. I'm so glad that, uh, that we could bring it to you. It's important to tell children that authors are real people. You can actually talk to them. They're not just, you know, it's not just something in the book. There's something that they could actually like connect and touch. And, and I think this is, um, this, this Holy Devil Library is very connected to the time that we're in. Sheikh is about to come. Sheikh comes and will be full of purity and holiness and goodness. And we're adding a little bit more by opening up a space where kids can grow and, and connect in a very meaningful, real way.